Ladies and gentlemen, from the White House, the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, there is nothing mysterious about the foundations of a healthy and strong democracy. The basic things expected by our people of their political and economic systems are simple. As Americans, we believe that every man should be free to live his life as he wishes. The only limit to an American's achievement should be his ability, his industry, and his character. It should make us truly thankful as we look back to the beginnings of this country that we have come so far along the road to a better life for all, an economy vigorous and free, in which there are ever-increasing opportunities, just rewards for effort, and a stable prosperity that is widely shared. Now, as this development gradually comes about, it will not seem futile for young people to dream of a brave and new and shining world, or for older people to feel that they can, in fact, bequeath to their children a better inheritance than that which was their own. I have found, as I am sure you have in your travels, that people everywhere, in spite of occasional disappointments, look to us, not to our wealth or power, but to the splendor of our ideals. Most Americans want a decent home in a decent neighborhood for all, and so do I. Most Americans want a job for every man who wants to work, and so do I. Most Americans want continually expanding and growing prosperity, and so do I. We seek a nation where every man can, in the words of our oldest promise, follow the pursuit of happiness, not just security, but achievements and excellence and fulfillment of the spirit. Our tomorrow is on its way. It will be the dream that we dare to dream. And I think that I know what kind of a dream you want to dream. This is our summons to greatness. I believe the American people are ready to answer this call. The American dream does not come to those who fall asleep. One union holds out the promise of justice and opportunity for every citizen. That union is the United States of America. The American dream endures. It is the idea which founded our nation and has guided our development as a people. We've always had a faith that the days of our children would be better than our own. It's our gift to have visions. And I want to share that of a young boy who wrote to me shortly after I took office. In his letter, he said, I love America because you can join Cub Scouts if you want to. You have a right to worship as you please. If you have the ability, you can try to be anything you want to be. And I also like America because we have about 200 flavors of ice cream. That's America. Everyone with his or her vision of the American promise. That's why we're a magnet for the world. As this new world takes shape, America stands at the center of a widening circle of freedom, today, tomorrow, and into the next century. Our nation is the enduring dream of every immigrant who ever set foot on these shores, and the millions still struggling to be free. Now we move to an age of technology, information, and global competition. These changes have opened vast new opportunities for our people, but they have also presented them with stiff challenges. We've discussed our differences. Now it is time to find common ground and build consensus to make America a beacon of opportunity in the 21st century, united across the generations by grand and enduring ideals. The grandest of these ideals is an unfolding American promise that everyone belongs, that everyone deserves a chance, that no insignificant person was ever born. It is that promise that has always set this country apart. That through hard work and sacrifice, each of us can pursue our individual dreams, but still come together as one American family to ensure that the next generation can pursue their dreams as well. That's why I stand here tonight, because for 232 years, at each moment when that promise was in jeopardy, ordinary men and women students and soldiers, farmers and teachers, nurses and janitors, found the courage to keep it alive. So yes, the world has changed. The competition for jobs is real. But this shouldn't discourage us, it should challenge us. 
I believe we can keep the promise of our founding, the idea that if you're willing to work hard, it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from or what you look like or where you love. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white or Hispanic or Asian or Native American or young or old or rich or poor, able, disabled, gay or straight. You can make it here in America if you're willing to try. We want every American to know the dignity of work, the pride, the pride, the beautiful pride. Getting a paycheck, the satisfaction of being told that was a job well done. There has never been a better time to start living the American dream. I've always believed, many of you have heard me say it, I've always believed we can define America in one word, possibilities. This is the United States of America. And there has never been anything we have not been able to do when we've done it together. Spread the faith. God love you all. May God bless America.